Today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, specimen of uh, torbernite and castellite from the Musani mine in the Katanga province, Democratic Republic of the Congo. We'll be testing this uh, specimen with our Ludlum Model 3. Go ahead and unpackage the uh, specimen. This particular specimen weighs 217 grams. It's quite radioactive. See the beautiful crystalline structure? Most beautiful green coloration. Backside is this uh, nondescript rock. I don't know exactly the uh, mineral involved on the backside, but the uh, torbernite and castellite crystals, crystalline structure is here on the front. Get a little closer view of that. Need to uh, wash your hands after handling that to avoid uh, contamination. Now let's go ahead and turn on our survey meter. We're uh, several feet away from the specimen right now, and uh, you can hear the activity level already relatively high. We're far off the scale in the 0 0.01 time setting, obviously. Change to the uh, times 10 setting, which will give us a uh, count rate count up to 66,000 counts per minute. At a distance of about uh, an inch and a half to two inches, we're far off the scale. That was at the times 10 setting. So we're going to change to the times 100 setting. We're using our model 44.9 uh, pancake. At a distance of about an inch from the specimen, we're getting a reading of approximately 220,000 counts per minute. Very high, very high rating. Using the uh, inverse square law, we double the distance, should reduce by a factor of four the uh, count rate. Still very high reading from a distance of approximately six inches. Even at this distance, we're getting a count rate of approximately 20,000 counts per minute. 
Let's change our meter back to the times 10 setting and it will be a little more accurate at that distance. Right now we're approximately six inches from the specimen and we're getting a reading of approximately 18 to about 19,000 counts per minute. Go back to the times 100 setting. We're not, con we're not making contact with the specimen to avoid contamination of the detector. But we're very close, perhaps uh, less than a half an inch. And again, we're getting a uh, maximum count rate that's edging up to about 220,000 counts per minute, maybe a little higher. Now, that's the crystal inside. If we check the uh, back side of it, the count rate is going to be a lot less. Let's check that now. Although some of the gamma radiation from the torbidite crystals will penetrate through this rock. Okay, you already hear the count rate slowing down drastically just by turning the crystals away from us. We're going to switch back to the uh, times 10 setting. And at the times 10 setting, well, let's go ahead and move it back to the times 1 setting. Reset, times 1 setting on this side of the uh, specimen. And we're getting readings in about the 1500 count per minute range. So down from 220,000 counts per minute to about 1500 counts per minute by simply turning the rock over and having the crystals face away from us. So what that tells me is some of the gamma radiation is being absorbed or shielded by this uh, rock and some of the uh, de um, radiation that we were detecting was beta which is definitely being blocked by this rock. Now there's other more specific tests that we can do to uh, determine the uh, count rate from beta only um, using a different detector, but we're not going to do that uh, right now. So we got about 1500 counts per minute on the uh, bland side of this rock. Turn it back over to the crystal inside, and just by turning it over, you're going to hear the count rate go up. That's before the detector is even close to the specimen. And of course, at the times one setting, we're going to go off scale immediately at some distance from the specimen. Um, uh, say we're uh, right at about eight inches from the specimen, we go off scale at the times one setting. So we'll go ahead and turn the uh, detector off, turn off the audio, power it down. Take another look at that specimen. Take the cotton off. Most beautiful crystalline structure, but highly radioactive. Hands most definitely contaminated right now although not seriously definitely don't want to be touching uh, touching my face or anything until my hands are washed with uh, warm soapy water see the kisselite crystals the little tiny little orange crystals there and of course the torbonite bright green. That's it for that specimen. Thank you for watching.